What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on Jacob De La Rose, uh, prospect playing for Lexand over in Sweden, and uh, one of the top Swedes eligible for the uh, 2013 NHL entry draft. Let's go over his stats first. He played in the WJC and took almost a silver medal. Had uh, no points in six games, playing playing primarily as a. Uh, excuse me. Chest congestion. Uh, playing primarily as a check and line forward, really not getting up on the top six, which is, I mean, it's, it's part of the course. I mean, we'll be 18 until May 20th, so uh, one of the younger guys on the team, on a, on a pretty young Swedish team, I might add, that has a very good chance at a uh, gold medal next year in Sweden. He's in Malmo. Um, he had seven points. He has seven points, 29 games at the uh, at the men's level with Lexand, and has uh, two assists in three games with uh, the under-20 team. And he's a plus one with the uh, under-20 and plus five with the men's, so, you know, really good player. Uh, pretty versatile forward. He's playing on the wing right now, but can play center. and play both wings, actually. He has a physical uh, aspect to his game, a real high compete level, and can thrive in either an energy level or in a top six role. He's definitely one of those guys that can play with your skill guys and can help out um, in, your, in your bottom guys, in your third, fourth liners. And that, I think that's what you need. Um, you know, he can assert himself physically. He's a big kid at 6'2 and 185 pounds. He can really fill out his frame a little bit more. And, uh, you know, can really, he's going to outwork you out there. And that's, you know, positive um, aspect about his game. He's going to work hard, bring the physicality, and, uh, you know, the offense will fall. I mean, he's put up points in the past. He had six points in uh, three games last year at the under-18 level with uh, Black Sand. And, I mean, he's, you know, he's done it. You know, it's just a matter of the offensive consistency coming together, getting more ice time, and, uh, you know, really just being in a, be given in a role where he can score. Um, you know, buried on the fourth line on one of the, the men's teams in Sweden. Uh, excuse me, again, um, you know, it's a tough to, you know, get an opp get opportunities to score. But, uh, you know, he's doing his his role, and I think, you know, when he comes over North America in a couple of years, he'll be able to... to Play the North American style, the European style. Uh, we see more Swedes that are physical. Uh, than we did before. Look at the Washington Capitals first round pick, Philip Forsberg last year. You look at Gabriel Landeskog, obviously in Colorado, and you know the the whole finesse Swedes really isn't um, accurate anymore. I mean, they still have some finesse Swedes, but not as many as I uh, was more physical players from Sweden than ever before, which is you know good to see. Uh, in terms of where I'll go in the draft, <clears throat> he entered the year as a projected top uh, ten pick. Kind of slid, um, probably somewhere in the 40 to 50 range right now. I'd say in the second round, maybe he plays his way back in the first round, but uh, you know that's going to be up to him and uh, the scouts around the league. But uh, you know he's a pretty intriguing prospect. I like what he brings to the table, and I think he'll definitely help a pro team down the line. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play of CJ Prospect Profiles on Jacob De La Rose of Lexa Lexand in the Swedish Elite League. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.